Zacharias, Zacharias, do you have your robes? Yes, dear, I have them, thank you. Zacharias. Ezra, come here. My father says it's almost time. You tell your father I'm almost ready. My father says not to believe you if you say you're almost ready. Well, then go tell him I am ready. Almost. <coughs> Zacharias, are you all right? Oh, yes, dear, I'm fine. Because if it's too much oh, of a no, strain... Oh, no, 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 it's my turn to serve in the temple. Yes, of course, but do they understand how hard it is oh, for you? Oh, they know all they need to know. They know the Lord has not yet chosen me to burn the incense. I've not yet drawn the lot. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. I accept it. I'm not sure I do. We have to accept it. It's, it's all we can do. Did I tell you my cousin Mary is betrothed? Well, almost betrothed. The women are still planning it. Oh, that Mary, she'll make a wonderful mother. Elizabeth, you're thinking about not having children again. What? I'm thinking of Mary. That she's good and obedient, and of course she's going to have children. My dear, people can be good and obedient and still not have children. I know that. Well then, for your own peace of mind, shouldn't we just stop thinking about it? But Zacharias, I'm not just thinking about it. It's always here. It's always with me. I've wanted only one thing since I could braid my hair when tending to my dolls was just an art. And now I can't dismiss it or drive it from my heart. How can I stop a thing I didn't start? I'll give God forever to make me what I am. Give my plans, give my dreams, give up all my fretful schemes. I'll give God this moment to fill my soul with cheer. I'll give him forevermore, and that will keep him near. Yes, we must leave it in the hands of the Lord and not worry about it. <laughs> well then, I won't worry. But I won't forget. I wouldn't expect you to. Of course, I've dreamt of drawing the lot one sacred day and stepping forward straight and square and tall. I pour the holy incense. The plume goes up to God. I've known it, seen it, smelt it, felt it all. Oh, Zacharias. I knew you hadn't given up hope. No, not my hopes. But my demands, yes. What do you mean? I'll give God forever, but not to do my will. Give my plans, give my dreams, give up all my lofty schemes. I'll give God this moment, and if it's not to be, Giving him forever means I'll wait and watch and see. But Zacharias, there's still time for you. Oh, now, please be reasonable. Let's say I'm never chosen to burn the incense. Ah! Oh. Now, come here. Don't you understand? It's all right with me now. I've not been chosen. You've not been chosen to have children. We've not been chosen to have children, but we still trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord, yes, that he will fulfill his promises. In his due time. In his due time. I'll give God forever, and then give one day more. What our plans, and what our dreams, what is what, not what, what it seems. I'll give God forever to fill my soul with cheer. 
I'll give him forevermore. Until my hours. Until my days. Until my years are gone. They're waiting, Zacharias. Oh, yes, Ezra. You go tell them I'm ready. Almost ready. I just go tell them I'm coming. Well, I'm ready then. Very well, I will pray for you. For you, there is still time. And even if there isn't, may the Lord bless you. And keep you as he did Abraham and Sarah, who bore a child in her old age. Elizabeth. <laughs> I know. May the Lord bless you. And keep you quiet. <laughs> before the Messiah to prepare the way of the Lord, even to baptize the Messiah with water. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant. O oh Lord, I stand before thee in this holy place. I thank thee. I thank thee. I pray thy merciful blessings be upon me upon my household, my dear wife, and all thy children, the house of Israel. Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt have joy and gladness, and thou shalt call his name John, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife, well stricken in years. And I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled. Yeah. 
Holmes? Holmes? Now, Joseph, if you're going to be married, you can't afford to take care of every beggar in the city. But, Alton, the law says that thou... I know what the law says. I taught you the law. Thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shalt surely extend him sufficient for his need. If he's truly in need, don't be fooled by appearances, nephew. Me come. Where's my coat? No, here, dear. You children run upstairs now. Wife? Oh, not you, Mary. Ah, <clears throat> oh, me come. Come in. Shalom, Elohim. Elohim, shalom to you, me come. Come and sit. Mary. Will you please get our guests something to drink? Mikam, what manner of business brings you here today? I have come to make a proposal. Oh, he's ready to hear your proposal, Mikam. Go on. Are you Joseph's uncle? Excuse us, Mary, come with me. Forgive me, sir, um, the matter is worried. plain. I'm trying not to be. But? But how can I be sure that Joseph... Mm -hmm. How can I be certain that... Certain? I've seen him at synagogue. He's faithful. The rabbis think so? And he's a carpenter with a good reputation. Yes. And he is kind. He is. And... Mary. I was betrothed once myself. You were? Your father's uncle came to my parents just as Mecham has come to us. And you wonder, will you love Joseph as your husband? And will he love you? I'm sorry. No, I think it's good to wonder a little about yourself. If you'll be true to the covenant you're going to make. But we need never wonder about the Lord. Ask God all your questions. Tell him all your fears. Thank him for his mercy. Then wait with open ears. Listen as he answers. Hear the voice so still. Let the spirits whisper. Teach how to do his will. Wife, come. Yes, dear. Now, go be with your sister. And Mary, I have never wondered about you. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. What? It's Zacharias. Zacharias? He was in the temple, and the lot, it fell to him. Oh! And he went in to burn the incense. The lot, it fell to him, truly? Yes. Oh, my beloved. The lot. Is it true? Did it? Finally, Zacharias, after all these years, the lot fell to you. Zacharias, tell me all about it. Zacharias. Zacharias! Elizabeth, he can't speak. He can't hear either. Oh, mercy! I knew it was too much for you. We tried to talk to him, to ask him what happened. Oh, here, sit over here. But you he must, can't hear what we're saying. You must lie down. Ezra, the blanket. Benjamin, go get your mother quickly. Elizabeth, he's not sick. He saw something. He saw the Lord. Or someone like him. He was in the temple a long time. Some say he saw a vision. A vision? Oh, my beloved, a vision. Oh. 
Oh, Zacharias, I know, I know. Good, it's very good, don't you agree? Well, it is a standard agreement. Oh, it's a very good contract. Joseph, present your gift and make your vow. Mary, I will betroth you to myself forever. Betroth you in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness. Betroth you in faithfulness and you will know the Lord. The drink. Now, Mary, it's time for you to choose. Joseph is a good man. And if you pledge your faithfulness to him, he will care for you and provide for you forever as a wife and mother in Israel. Now drink, and you have a covenant. Put it aside, and all is forgotten. You won't regret it. As you choose. Wonderful, wonderful. <clears throat> It is done. You are set apart unto me according to the laws of Moses and Israel, and one day we will be married. Today you'll be as my son-in-law. There are rules for joining of two timbers. First you find the surest, truest ground. Then you sink the footing where it always will stand, and nothing under him can bring it down. There are rules for joining up two people. First betrothal known throughout the land. Then a year of raising high a good Hebrew house. Then wrapping up the hands and swaddling bands. Build a house for a prophet filled with law and truth. Built it firm as a mountain, a house of faith and prayer for the children, Israel's children, ever pure and fair. Well, Joseph, it's coming along nicely, very nicely. Yeah, I think she'll be happy here. She's beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful? Well, so far, strong bones and good joints. But a good beginning is no guarantee of a good finish. Uncle, I will not have you speak of Mary in those terms. Mary? Who's talking about Mary? I was talking about your house. Oh. <laughs> Mary's a beautiful girl to be sure, Joseph. And this house will be a wonderful place to raise a family. If. If I follow all, all the, the rules. rules. Build a house and marriage with devotion. Follow every rule that God prescribes. Then observe how the promises to Father Abraham in me and in my house are realized. Build a house for a prophet filled with law and truth, a house for a handmaid obedient as Ruth. Build it firm as a mountain, a house of faith and prayer for the children, Israel's children, ever pure and fair. in Joseph's house when you're married, won't you? Yes, Anna. He's building it right now. And when he's finished, we'll go live there. Is that when we have the big wedding party and he comes and gets you? Yes. And will you put on a beautiful dress like Hannah did when she was married? Of course. And then what? Well, the people in the neighborhood will come out carrying their lamps and they will join the procession. Oh, yes. And they'll surround you with their lights and carry you off in the chair like a queen and you'll be married under the canopy and live with Joseph forever. Yes, that's how it's done. 
I can hardly believe it's me. Mary, do you have to go? Don't worry, Anna. This is how mother and father began, and look at them now. They say Joseph keeps his covenants, just like father, and that will make him a good husband. I don't understand. You will someday. Someday when I'm older, like you. Oh, Anna. What's wrong, Mary? I don't feel very old. I don't feel any older than you. I don't even know if I'm ready. Come now, run along. Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. How can this be? I am not yet married. Thou shalt be carried away into spirit, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, that holy child which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived the son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who is called barren. Elizabeth! For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. This day he should come to me, dressed in white, filled with light. What wonder did I see? And he spoke words divine. I cannot say So I'll praise his name I will praise his name I will praise his holy name Praise his name to me. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I just have to get back to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, is there something wrong with the baby? The baby? 
but how do you know about the... I'm Elizabeth's cousin. But she said no one knows. And no one does. But you do. Yes, and I'm keeping us safe right here in my heart. Elizabeth, I'm back, and I got everything you said. The bread, the meat, the fish, it's all here. Thank you, my boy. But, um, I... What is it, Ezra? I met a stranger on the way here. I think she was coming to visit you, and she knew all about the baby. Oh, Ezra, I hope you didn't tell anyone. No, I didn't. She Elizabeth! knew all about her. Elizabeth! Oh, my. Are you all right? <sighs> Elizabeth! Ezra, take these into the other room and hurry home. But maybe I could help you. Thank maybe you. Not now, child. Go quickly. Elizabeth! Cousin! Mary! Come here. Come on in. How's the baby? You know about the baby? Yes. Oh, Mary. Blessed art thou among women. What? And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Elizabeth, you know. Don't be afraid, Mary. I am honored that the mother of my Lord would come to me as soon as I heard your voice. My son leapt inside of me for joy, and I knew he knows. Nephi, what beholdest thou? A virgin, most beautiful and fair above all other virgins. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, for he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Knowest thou the condescension of God? I know that he loveth his children. Nevertheless, I do not know the meaning of all things. Behold the virgin thou seest, hither mother of the Son of God, after the manner of the flesh. And God himself shall come down among the children of men, and shall redeem his people. <clears throat> and because he dwelleth in flesh, he shall be called the Son of God. Mary, how is the embroidery coming? Swaddling bands aren't easy, even after three months. <laughs> Let me see. It would be easier if I only had to worry about one side and not about all the threads on the <laughs> other. <laughs> That's the idea, dear. First in your marriage and then in your home. Nothing can be hidden. We must make everything beautiful inside and out and backwards, forwards. Elizabeth. Do you think I can be as good as these bands should be? Oh, Mary, 
What do you mean? In my marriage. With Joseph? Yes. I need to tell him so that nothing is hidden. Good. But I don't know if I'm ready. Then you are ready. I am. It doesn't feel that way. <laughs> you are ready because you know you need the Lord. Now you will depend on him. You will know what to say to Joseph. Oh, Mary, I will miss you. But Elizabeth the baby, I came here to help you. <laughs> we'll be depending on the Lord too. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He hath helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, to his seed forever. Is that you, Joseph? Come in. Mary, it's good to see you back. Although, I feel a little uneasy about being here before the wedding. I understand. Elizabeth had her child? Oh, she did? Yes, they sent word, a boy. That's so good to hear. He's healthy and strong, and Elizabeth is doing just fine. Good. What about the father, the priest? I heard that he... Zacharias. Yes. Well, he couldn't hear, and he couldn't speak either. So what happened? An angel appeared to him. An angel? Yes. He told him Elizabeth was going to have a child. He even told him the name. His name is John. John? They didn't name him after his father. No. Why not? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. At the time of the circumcision, Zacharias finally spoke. He said the child would be called the prophet of the highest, to go before the face of the Lord and to prepare his ways. How did he know that? That's what the angel told him. Do the elders know? Yes, of course. You do believe it's true, don't you? Oh, yes, Mary, yes. Um, all kinds of wondrous things can happen in the temple. I've heard others speak of it. I believe them to be true. I know they're true. Thank you for telling me. I, I better get going. Wait, Joseph. Before I visited Elizabeth, an angel came to me too. I was praying, and the room became light. Where? Here at home. You're a blessed person, Mary. I'm not surprised. He said, the Messiah is coming through our lineage, just as the scriptures say, and quickly, very quickly. Quickly? Now don't be afraid. I'm not afraid, Mary. Because he is coming as every child comes, to a family, to a father, through a woman. Joseph, through me. An angel told you the Messiah is coming? That he's coming soon through you who's betrothed to me? Yes. And now you're saying I'm going to be his father? You will raise him. Raise him? What does that mean? It means he will be the son of the highest. He is the son of the highest. Is? It's been three months, Joseph. You're three months with child? What are you saying? What are you saying? He's not just a child. He's the Son of God.
it's a house, but not what I envision. There's no door, no window to be found. And within, the rooms have been forever rearranged. And soon I'll see them topple to the ground. Oh, Mary, you've come upon some trouble. That's for certain. But whatever it is, whatever it may be, I, I can hardly think of it. What is the right thing to do? I know the law, and the law is clear. If the damsel be not a virgin, they shall bring her out of the door of a father's house, and the men of a city shall stone her, that she die, because she has wrought folly in Israel. And then what will protect you and hide you from the storm? Who will give you shelter? And then the heart that's torn. And who will defend the child from cunning men? If the children, Israel's children, come without a friend. My Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of God, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Joseph. We must be wed without delay. You know? It's exactly as you said. 
And his name shall be called. Jesus. How did you know? That's what the angel told me. And it means well. And his mercy is on them that fear him. The house won't be quite finished. And there won't be time for the usual preparations. Mary, not everyone will understand. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Come near citizens and subjects of the Roman Empire. Caesar has spoken to all this land and people. All subjects are hereby commanded to return to their city of origin. All citizens of Bethlehem, all citizens of Capernaum, all citizens of Nazareth, Are you all right? Yes, just tired. Are you all right? Something's bothering you. I'm fine. What's wrong, Joseph? It's the census. I've been down to the marketplace. It's humiliating. You mean sending us back to our ancestral homes? Yes. Lucan says it's Herod cooperating with the Romans, trying to make this plan look like it's our tradition, but it degrades our tradition and it robs it of its holiness. Others are saying we should go along with it, that we should do the best that we can and keep praying for the Messiah. And what did you say? I was going along with it until they started talking about the Messiah. About him. And then I didn't dare say anything. Mary, how can I leave you now? The baby will be here soon. Joseph, I've been thinking about this. Perhaps this is what God wants. What do you mean? Well, perhaps I could go with you. Mary, six days over bad roads is difficult enough even for me. No, I mean, perhaps we should go there to live. 
but the house is just finished, and I finally set up shop in town. We could start over there. Start over? Why would we start over? I know it hardly makes sense, but Bethlehem is the home of our ancestors, the city of David. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. We'd be near Zacharias and Elizabeth and near the temple. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. I see. The city of David. It's for his sake. We would have never thought of Bethlehem. We didn't. No, Caesar did, and Herod. No, the Lord did. All flesh is in his hands. But does he have to grip so tightly? Please, let me come. Nathan! Up here, Father. I found him. He's with the others. Where? Down there. See? Oh, good for you, son. Good for the lamb. Father, up here. Joshua, the bread. This seems a good spot. Yes. Nathan, do you see all those lights? Lots of people over there. That's old Herod again. As if he were a Hebrew, calling them back to the land of their fathers. It makes our little town seem so important. Bethlehem is important, son. I'd say. What do you mean? The Messiah will be born there, don't you remember? In the city of David. Someday. How do you know? The prophets. Prophets? Yes. yes. The Lord told Samuel that a king would come from Jesse, a Bethlehemite. From the stem of Jesse, the scriptures say, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, even so. The root and offspring of David. David. Yes. Uncle Eli, what will he be like? Like his fathers, I suppose. Like David. David the king? Or David the shepherd? Both. A shepherd? How a shepherd? He shall feed his flock and gather the lambs and hold them close to his heart. And he'll gently lead the mother's sheep, those that are with young. Sheep? What sheep? Us. Us? Us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. When will he come, Father? Nathan. When I was your age, I prayed that I would be there to see him. But it's just as important that we wait for him, son. And watch. And be ready. <clears throat> Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
Did you find something? We have a stable. A stable? Who would have thought? When I think that this town has been full for a week, his arm is outstretched over us. All flesh is in his hands. But it is strange. Wonderful, but strange. Our people have waited for the Messiah. The Messiah will come. The Messiah is near. The Messiah will deliver us. And now, here tonight, he comes to just you and me. Strangers in this place, unknown. He comes in a stable. How will our people know? His father sent him down to this earth. He will tell them. Yes. Come, we must be ready. Wake up! Wake up, all of you! Fear not, for behold, I bring unto you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. of our people have been answered. Then let us go now, even unto Bethlehem, and see these things which the Lord has made known unto us. Wait, look! What is that? In the east. I've never seen it before. What does it mean? All things testify of him. And a star shall come out of Jacob. And the scepter shall rise out of Israel. He is a king. The king of glory. Come, let's hurry. Grandfather! Grandfather, aren't you coming? I shall stay with the sheep. Don't you want to see him? I shall see him, but not now. Go, Nathan. Follow the star and find the child. Yes. Goodbye. This is it. This is where we will find him. How do you know? I just know. Here. Come, Nathan. Up you go. What do you see? It's just as they said. A manger? Yes. And the swaddling clothes. Is he wrapped? Yes. It is the sign. We must tell. We must tell and testify of these things. How do we do that? What do you mean, son? We're just shepherds. Yes, Nathan. Just shepherds. But tonight... We are servants, servants of a king.
Can I help you with something? Will you tell us of the child, sir? The child? Who are you? Stand up. We're shepherds. Yes? And we know about the baby. Yes? He is the Lord. The Messiah. The Savior of the world. Who told you? An angel. Angels, actually. A whole multitude of them. Where? With the sheep. In the field, sir. We were keeping watch. Fields. All manner of wondrous things. I don't understand. Just a moment. Let me go tell my wife. Mary, there are shepherds come to see the baby. Angels sent them. Angels? Yes. Then they must see him. Please, come here. Come close. I've seen many lambs she has born. Have you? He looks sort of soft and helpless, just like a baby lamb. He is a lamb, the lamb of God. What does that mean? Our child mustn't speak too much. Oh, no, no. What is your name? Nathan. Oh, like the prophet. Was he a shepherd too? In a way, all prophets are shepherds. I'm glad you've come, Nathan. All of you. God didn't let him come into this world alone. And for that, his mother is grateful. I should have known that shepherds would come. Someone who could be trusted to believe. And tell. Tell? Yes. The angel said the message was unto all people. So if you'll excuse us, we should go. And do as he said. And the father said, we should start with you. Why us? For what, Nathan? The message from the angel. Very well. Go ahead. Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings and great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you... Go on. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto you is Fear born not. this day in the for city behold, of David, I bring you good tidings the Savior, of great joy. which is Christ the Lord. For unto you for behold, is born this day in the city joy. of David, Fear not. Unto you a Savior, for behold, I bring you which is Christ the Lord. Great joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him.
Cleopas, Cleopas. In here. Cleopas, Jesus' body is gone. What? Yes, the women went this morning to anoint him, and the stone was rolled away. They said angels came and said he's alive and gone into Galilee. Angels? Yes. And Peter? He and John went back to see the tomb for themselves. Well, we better leave this in their hands. Mary Magdalene went back as well. She's hopeful she can find his body. Well, if she doesn't, the Sadducees will say we took it so we could claim he's risen from the dead. Why? Because they're the ones, they're the ones, our own people who delivered him to the Romans. That's why the sooner we get on the road to Emmaus, the better. Here, put this in your bag. What if Jesus does come to Galilee? Peter would send for us. But Galilee? That's where we started. Do you realize a week ago the Messiah was riding into Jerusalem? Here where everything happens. He came as the king. Thousands waving palms and crying hosannas. A prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. People were finally listening and believing. The kingdom of heaven was right here at hand. It's over now, isn't it? We all trusted he was the one who would redeem Israel. But now, without him, come, let's go home.
Are you the gardener here? Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? Sir, if you have carried him away from here, please tell me where you have laid him, and I will go and get him. Mary. Rabboni! Touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my father, and your father, and to my God, and to your God. Many graves shall be opened, and shall yield up their dead, and many saints shall appear. stone was rolled away? What do you mean, Peter? Yes, Thomas. The tomb was empty. Was it thieves? We don't think so. His body had been unbound, and his grave clothes left behind. So it was the Romans? No, Thomas. The napkin for his head wasn't just tossed aside. It was folded neatly, as if out of respect. But John, that could mean anything. You're right, Thomas. It could. But it's more than the grave clothes. It seems something is happening here. Something more than we can see. We believe he has risen. Peter! James! Risen? It's been confirmed. People who have died have appeared throughout the city. People are saying it's the resurrection. We better quietly gather the believers. Thomas, would you find Mary Magdalene? She may be still at the tomb. Yes, Peter. This will inflame the Sanhedrin. They will think he is risen. If they believe. John, Peter. Mary, Peter. Is everything all right? I'm sorry to alarm you, my son. Mary Magdalene returned Is she and... safe? Where is she? Mary, child, come here. Mary Magdalene. Peter. Oh, Peter. You saw him, didn't I did. you? I did. I thought he was the gardener. Yes? Until he said my name. He said Mary. And he told me to tell you, I ascend unto my father and your father, unto my God and your God. We're grateful you saw him, Mary. And we rejoice with you. We will tell the others. Come, James, John, we should meet. Tonight. In the upper room as before? Yes. We'll arrange it. Angels sing to wandering shepherds, fear not, Christ is born this day. Marvel not that in a stable heaven blessed his bed of hay. 
angels brought the joyful tidings. Fear not, Christ is risen this day. Heaven came down to tend his body. Why I grieved, I cannot say. He is risen, as the angel said. He came to us on the road. And he said, tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Angels sent us with a message. Do not go to Galilee. Who could know we'd meet our master? Who could know his face we'd see? Alleluia, alleluia, rise, O light of Bethlehem. Calvary's dark night is over, Christ the Lord is come again. Alleluia, alleluia, rise, O light of Bethlehem. Calvary's dark night is over, Christ the Lord is come again. We must tell Peter about Galilee. He was just with us. Does he know of Mary Magdalene? Yes, come this way. Cleopas, wait. I can see the lights of Jerusalem. Hurry. I've got to rest. We already covered this road once today. I know, but if we don't hurry, we may not find the apostles before nightfall. Here. Drink. Tell me, when did you first recognize it was Jesus? When he took the bread and blessed it. Yes, it was just like in Galilee when he fed the 5,000. There was that feeling that yes. it came back. And we were as full of joy as we ever were. How could we have been so sad? I called him a stranger. Yes, and we walked along telling him everything that had happened to him. Why did he come to us? Because he wanted to teach us to remind us of all the prophets have spoken. How could we have been so foolish, so slow to believe? How could we not recognize him? Were eyes holding because of fear? Could we not see him for all our tears? If we had listened beyond his words, would we have known now more than we heard? Did not our hearts burn within us as he walked with us? Did not he open the scriptures by the way? Did not he come as promised to even? He knew we were sad. Not a sparrow falls to the earth, except he knows it. And if we grieved for what had to be, and knew not how he had set us free, he tarried with us until the end. Till eyes were opened and knees would bend. Did 
Did not our hearts burn within us as he walked with us? Did not he open the scriptures by the way? Did not he come deliver even us? By rising from the Cleopas, did he give you any instructions? Andrew, you'd better bolt the door. Yes. At first we didn't recognize him. Our eyes were holding. We thought he was a stranger in Jerusalem, a rabbi. And then he walked with us, and we asked him to abide with us and eat. He ate? He took the bread, and he blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to us. Yes, like our last supper together. And then the eyes of our understanding were open, and we knew him. Have you heard that the women have seen angels? Yes. Have you heard that the women also saw him? Who did? Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and some of the other women. He gave them instructions. What did he say to you? He taught from the scriptures, Peter, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, and he expounded the words written about himself. And what did you learn? That all this had to happen. The prophets knew it, and he knew it too. And not only knew it, he didn't stop it. He let it happen. He took it upon himself. Peace be unto you. Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have. Have ye any meat? We have fish and honeycomb. Thou hast risen from the grave, Lord, and yet thou eatest as a man. Wilt thou teach us, Lord, the meaning of these things? These are the words which I spake unto thee while I was yet with thee that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the Law of Moses, and in the Prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. What things, Lord? Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and ye are witnesses of these things.
witnesses to all nations. Brethren, what we have seen, the people need to know. They are ready, and many will listen. What we thought was the end is the beginning. It's not over, Cleopas. There is something we can do. And in Jerusalem. Peter, what about Thomas? We will find him. Galilee. Soon, Rebecca. The angel said that Jesus would go to Galilee before us. And we will meet him there. Here, Rebecca, pack these two, please. I'm scared to see him again. Why, son? I thought they put him in a tomb. They did, Joshua. That's why the angel said, fear not. And Jesus said the same thing to us. He did? Yes, on the road. He said, be not afraid. Then we bowed down, held his feet, and worshipped him. And you weren't afraid? Well, maybe a little, but we were also joyful, very joyful. It's true what he said, isn't it? That this experience would be like childbirth. Yes, a woman, when, is she, when she is in travail, has sorrow. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish. For three days we've been grieving, and suddenly the grief is forgotten. Not forgotten, changed. Our sorrow became our joy. I still don't understand why I had to die. Joshua, come here. Did you know that when he was not much older than you, we lost him? No. Where? Here in Jerusalem. For three days, jo Joseph and I searched frantically, worried for his safety and afraid he was lost. And then finally we found him in the temple. He was teaching grown men, doctors, priests. And he said unto us, Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? His father's business? You see, it was his father's will that he leave us those three days. And for these past three days, when it seemed we had lost him again, it was the will of his father. He's been doing as always. You see, that is why he laid down his life, so that he could take it up again, and us with him. Did you know all this would happen? No, not exactly. But I remember what he said those many years ago. I don't ever want to lose him again. You don't have to, Rebecca, because if you follow him and remember him, you'll always feel him near. I'll follow him then, wherever he wants me to go. What if we can't, or what if we don't know where that is? Oh, Joshua, it is good to wonder a little about ourselves, but we need never wonder about the Lord. Ask God all your questions, hear his voice so still. Let the spirits whisper, teach how to do his will, then go and do his will. Sisters! Thomas! Mary Magdalene, I've been looking for you since yesterday. Peter said you'd gone back to the garden. Thomas, he is alive, just as the angel said. You saw him with your own eyes? Yes, she did. Yes, yes, and Mary Sisters, Magdalene. Thomas. Cleopas. Did Peter find you yet? No, what's wrong? I thought you were on the road back to Emmaus. We were, but Jesus met us on the way. He did? Yes. He came to the women as well. We know. And then last night, he came again. Again? Yes. The wounds were there. It was Jesus. Yes, we were gathered in the upper room. 
And we? He appeared. Who is we? Peter, the Twelve, and some of the disciples. Well, most of the Twelve. And you were there as well. Yes. He told us to be witnesses of him, of his resurrection. The work is going forward. Oh, Thomas, we can still serve him. I hope that you will. Children, can we take these to Jesus in Galilee? Yes. Come. Thomas, I'll do what I can to help. But shouldn't we be offering to help you? No, I don't think so. But you were called as a witness. But how can I be a witness of what I haven't seen? I'm sorry, Cleopas, but I cannot hear his words if he's not with me. I cannot feel his touch if he's not here. I cannot tell the world my Lord still walks with me if I can't see him and have him near. Thomas. Except I shall see, I will not believe. Except I behold the wounds, I will always grieve. Except I put my finger into the print of nails. He has not risen up for me. I will not, I cannot believe. Thomas. Peter, John, I didn't know you were there. I'm sorry you didn't see him. What I said about believing. We understand, Thomas. You want to see him with your own eyes. So I can be a witness. You are a witness, Thomas. Look, we did see him. But that is not enough for any of us. What? Plenty of people saw him in life. Watched his miracles. Heard his teachings. And yet some of them are among those who condemned him to the cross. To see him, Thomas, to see him as he is, for who he is, we must look with our hearts. Do you remember when we came along the borders of Caesarea Philippi? Jesus asked us, whom do men say that I, the Son of God, am? And we answered him, some say thou art John the Baptist. And some Elias or Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Yes. And then he said a second time, Whom say ye that I am? And I looked at him, and I said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he said to me, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjon, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven, you see, Thomas, it isn't by what we see, but by what we feel. At first, Mary Magdalene thought he was a gardener. And Cleopas walked along the road to Emmaus, thinking he was a rabbi. But when they felt him, they knew. And one day, when you do see him, you will not know any better than you know now that he lives because you already feel here. I do, Peter. Then believe, Thomas, and see. If I can't hear his words, then I shall speak them. If I can't feel his touch, his touch I'll give. And I'll rejoice because my Lord called even me. And by 
by his teachings, I'll always live. Thomas, have you given up hope? Hope? No. But my demands, yes. It's been a week, Peter. Tell me what I need to do. Trust that the Lord will fulfill his promises in his due time. In his due time. Peace be unto you. Master. Thomas, reach hither thy finger and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hands, and thrust them into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God! Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. Now, we can go to Galilee. What would you have us do, Peter? What we know how to do, fish. And there he will come to us again, as he said. I searched with mine eyes, but I was blind. By his mercy eyes of faith I find. Lord, what I asked of fearing, thou answered with thy love. O oh, Lord my God, I will believe I'll always, forever and ever, remember. Didst come to me. When will he come, Father? He'll come when we're ready, Aaron. Trust me. <laughs> I'm ready. But maybe we're not. Like when I tried to walk on this water. I wonder why he said he'd meet us here in Galilee. Maybe it's because this is where we all started. Where he called us. What do you mean? We were right over there, to the west. He told us to cast in our nets. Yes, but he said to cast them on the right side of the boat. Yes. And it was on a night just like this. Not a single fish. And then suddenly, there were so many, so many. So many, our nets broke, son. We weren't ready, Aaron. Our nets weren't strong enough. So we couldn't bring in the fish and take them back to feed the people. And that's when he called us to be fishers of men. Of men? Then why are we fishing for fish? Especially when there aren't any. <laughs> <laughs> Children, have ye any meat? Is that man talking to us? No, not today. Cast your nets on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. What is he saying? He doesn't know we've been fishing all night. Yes, he does. Do it. Why don't they be fish now? I don't see any. Shh. Peter, what is it? It's him. He's here. He's here with us. It's the Lord. You can tell from here? Yes. Look! A draught! Again! As many as before! Careful! The nets! Pull! 
This time the nets are holding, James. They're holding. Pull, pull. Lord, is this meal for us? Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Peter, come! Peter, we must have caught over a hundred fish and the nets didn't tear. At least a hundred and fifty, and big ones. It is Jesus, isn't it, Father? Yes, son, it is Jesus. Come and dine. A meal? Food has never been so welcome. Is this for us, Lord? We thank thee, Lord. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Feed my lambs. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Feed my sheep. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Feed my sheep. James, John, let us divide what we have been given with others. We will feed thy sheep, Lord whithersoever thou wilt. As we're fed, we'll feed them. As we learn, we'll teach. As we're blessed, we'll lift each other. We will feed thy sheep. Feed thy lambs, oh, feed thy sheep. Shepherds will become. Help us find the wandering lambs. May thy flock as one. Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. On our right and left hand, Thou wilt always be, we will go to all the world, we will feed thy sheep. Feed thy lambs, oh feed thy sheep. And he lifted up his hands and blessed us. And while he blessed us, he was parted from us and carried Light up into heaven, the and the cloud received him out of our sight. May thy flock as one. Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Now there was in the days of Herod a certain priest named Zacharias. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden. And we took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in a sepulcher. And Jesus stood in the midst of us and saith unto us, Peace be unto you. 
for we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we may know unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but are eyewitnesses of his majesty. For the Son of Man shall come in the clouds of heaven, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. He is the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that heareth say, come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him partake of the water of life freely. He which testifieth of these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord. 